Hi guys, it's Shami from Cuff Seams and Things. So today I'm going to show you how to make beautiful, really simple um, postcards. You don't need to know how to draw or do anything like that. These are super simple. It's just basic collage and just basically drawing shapes. So I'm going to show you how to do this. It's very cool. Um, I actually saw an art journal page that inspired this, so I wanted to kind of make it into a postcard. So here I just have, this is an old BocuCharms box that I saved. Um, but you can use cardboard, just kind of use whatever you have. A thick piece of like watercolor paper would work, kind of whatever, but I like to use cereal boxes. They're nice and thin and um, they just make a really good canvas. So you're going to cut this down to the sides of a postcard. So um, I, so let me, let me click for you. I want to give you the measurements too. Okay, so it has to be a rectangular shape it has to be at least three and a half inches high so three and a half inches high okay and it has to and at least five inches long okay so that's that's the least um that it has to be in order for it to be milled now it can't be any more than four inches high so it can't be more than four inches high and um six inches long and then um it can't be more than um point 16 inches thick okay so basically you want one that is not more than um, four and a half inches tall and six and a half inches long that's the easy way to remember it so I'm just gonna cut this down so you can see Let me click back so I can make sure that I'm in frame for you guys okay and I just have my cutter here um, so you just kind of select any of those measurements I'll make this one um, let's do this one, let's do five inches, or actually four and a half because it can't be more than five, okay. So yeah, let's actually do four and a quarter, okay. Just going to take it and just cut it down. If you don't have a paper cutter, just use your ruler and scissors and mark it down and you'll be ready to go. And then no more than six inches long, so I'll make it. Let's do four and a half, or let's do four and a quarter, actually. Alrighty. And that this. Okay. So that's a little bit longer than it needs to be. Okay. So I'm going to trim this down just a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to make this like four and a half also okay so this is ready so this is the size of a postcard that you could mail okay so you'll just cut it down alrighty so that's all ready to go I just wanted to show you that step okay so whatever you choose to cut it down with, that's fine. So all I did here was I just tucked some of my handmade gesso. I have a video on how you do that. And I just gessoed it just because I want the paint to be on top. Does that make sense? And then I glued down um, this into just a piece of jelly print that I had left over. So this will be the back. Um, I'll just sew over this too um, after we get done painting it and then I can write my message and um, put the address that I'm singing it to. Okay. And then if you didn't have a jelly print, you could just use um, regular, just this is a book page that I just gessoed over. If you don't have gesso, just use right acrylic paint. It's very, very simple. So I just wanted to prime it. Here I just have my school glue mixture. And these that I'm working on, they are four inches by five inches long, okay? So that's what size these are, okay? And then, um, so let me just grab. Now I like um, layers in my work, so I like things to show through. So I'm just gonna tear off um, some text. That's my favorite thing to use. And I'm just gonna kind of set it on there and just put a couple things down. I like to work, um, on a few different things at once, okay? It's like if I'm gonna make them, I might as well make more of them, <laughs> you know? Okay, so I just have my, this is just equal parts um, school glue and um, 
water. Okay, just gonna take that. And then I also have my blow dryer over here too. I do have a heat gun, but I really like using the blow dryer. It doesn't alter it as much as, um, as much as a heat gun can, because you can get bubbles and stuff with the heat gun, which is kind of annoying when you want things to be flat. So I'm gonna bring you in a little bit here so you can see what I'm doing a little better. Okay, let's bring you in just a little bit more. I know some people were like, Shmi, we can't see what you're doing, but come in closer. So I'm going to set that down. And this is going to be a longer video just because I'm going to show you all the steps. So I will make a shorter version of this too, just kind of walking you through. Because um, I know some people don't have time to watch long videos. So I just like to do both. Okay. All right, and I'm going to put just a little bit of a piece right up here. Okay, just like that. Okay, so I can dump my brush because I'm not going to use any more glue. Okay, and then I'm just going to blow this. And I got this blow dryer at the thrift store. Um, it was like three bucks, so it small. And as I said, I like using this to get things dry, just like if you've done, but it doesn't cause bubbles or anything, so I like that. ready to go okay so um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna grab our paints so I have my acrylic paints here actually you know what I um, this is kind of webbing from I think it was from oranges so I'm gonna actually use that in my stamp pad just to add just a little bit of background if you don't have ink you can absolutely use paint and that would be awesome and I don't really know if this is going to work. I've never tried it, so we'll see if it'll give me some imprints, which it did. Okay, just going to press it down. But I just want just a little bit of background peeking out a little bit. Okay. Little bit of that going on, okay. Alrighty, okay, perfect. Alrighty, okay. So um, let's get our heat gun, we'll dry that, make sure that's nice and dry. Okay. Then I'm going to use um, some paint. So for this, I'm going to use turquoise, orange, and pink. But use as many colors as you want. Use as few as you want. So first, I'm going to kind of do the base painting. The base paint. So in order to do that, I'm going to use um, mostly orange. Um, and I should have a yellow. Yeah, and we'll use a yellow, too. I only have a little bit left in this. So this is kind of a pretty color that I love. Okay, and this is, what kind is this? This is dark yellow, which I love. So let's do our background first. And you're gonna, you want it quite watery. Okay, so, and actually that is 
much lighter than I thought it was. That almost matches the yellow, actually. So I'm going to add just a drop of orange to that. Okay, just because I want them to be two distinctive colors, if that makes sense. Okay, and then I just have some water here. Bring that over. I save all my juice cans. Okay, and I know you can't see, but the paint that I just mixed. Okay, we're just gonna, and I like to get it quite watery because I want to be able to see um, through. I want to be able to still see those book pages. Okay, and just kind of get it down. And you don't need very much at all. I probably did way too much. I am going to leave some spots. Um, so I can go in with that yellow. Okay. Scrape a little bit away, okay, and then I'm going to go in with my yellow, okay. So, again, I'm going to just wet my brush very watered down, okay, and I'm going to go in with my yellow. That gives just a little bit of variation. Just like that. Okay. This is just a really easy way um, for you to make a beautiful postcard in no time at all. Just from stuff that you have around. All of us have acrylic paint and that kind of thing, so which is good. Okay, I'm gonna put that away. And I have some paint over here. So I'm just gonna take another page. And I'm going to kind of get that out off of my mat because I don't want to use any of that loveliness. I don't want to waste that paint. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. So I'm going to put the cap back on the yellow. Doing some maintenance work there. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Okay. So then I'm going to take my. I'm going to dry that off. So that's dry. So now we're going to make circles and lines and all sorts of cool stuff. So I'm just going to actually, I think I'm just going to do it right because again, I don't need very much. So I'm just going to take my bottle cap and put it in there. A Kelly Donovan trick that works very well. <laughs> that way you don't waste any paint. So I just have that and you can just scoop it back up. Okay. Okay, so I just have an angled brush here, okay, and I am going to make some circle shapes, or half circle shapes, I should say. Okay, so I can just take this and I'm 
to do one here also. But it's so fun sometimes to just make shapes. Like I always forget about making shapes, but it's a lot of fun when you can do that. Okay. And we're also going to make some pink lines. Since I'm in this color, I'm going to use it. I'm going to make some lines. Kind of some somewhat thick lines in. But I want to leave room because I'm going to make another circle. Okay? So kind of keep that in mind too. You can make one this way too. Alrighty. And let's make one this way. Okay? Very cool. Okay. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Okay, dip it in my water, clean off my brush a little bit. I am watching, or I was watching the saddest show, so I had to create <laughs> it's um Oh, Steve Wilkos, he has this show about um, this poor little boy has been abused. So it's pretty heartbreaking. And his family is fighting and they have all these strange men in their life. And it's just really sad. It's amazing, you know, how desperate some people are for a relationship that they'll put their children at risk. So you're going to take your turquoise. It's a little heartbreaking, so I'm glad to be doing this right now. I'm not passing judgment. It's just sad for the kids and and for them to, you know, to be that desperate for someone to love you that you would basically sacrifice your kids is really quite sad. You have to be really lost. So we take that and then I'm going to make some lines, some more lines, and this time I'm going to make them a little bit thinner with the turquoise. And I normally don't watch his show, but he caught me today. So, kind of sad times. Okay, and then, um, yeah, so that looks cool. I like that a lot. We'll put, let's put another line here. Okay. I'm just going to get rid of the turquoise, give them like a brush a little bit, and I just have my drop paper here, that's what I use. Okay, Alrighty. and let's do some more lines here. I do want to leave just a little bit of room um, for some stamps, some of my um, stamps. I'm going to put a circle here. I have trouble sometimes drawing circles, so we might have to clean it up a little bit. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'll check and make sure. I think you can. Okay, and then I'm going to go in and just add another color to the pink ones, pink and purple. Okay, alrighty, and I'm going to dry that off. Okay, just put down this purple. Okay, and we're going to do some stamping. Okay.
Alrighty. Okay. So let's get out. Um, or no, I have them. <laughs> I guess we don't have to get them out. Um, we're going to do some stamping. So I'm trying to think of what color um, to stamp with. Hmm. I think maybe I'll stamp with, with the turquoise because I think we don't have a lot of contrast. So I just take, these are my foam stamps. I have a video if you want to learn how to make those. And I'm just going to take a paintbrush and apply paint. And these are just diagonal, sh diagonal shapes. Okay. And I'm going to give it a stamp. So I'm going to apply some pressure and just stamp it down. Do the same thing here. Add a little bit more paint and make sure after you stamp it this time that you stamp it on your drop paper too because it still has an impression left. Okay, so we'll maybe we'll put that one over here. Okay, take it, lift it up. Perfect. Okay, and then I'll just take it on my drop paper and just get some of that off. No reason to waste paint, right? <laughs> okay, and then do I want any more shapes? Actually, I think that's perfect. So I'm going to stop there with my painting and I'm going to dry this off and then we're going to do some doodling on it just to bring it to life. So then we're going to take our white paint pen. Actually, let's do that. So I just have a china pin here. Hopefully it's enough to get through. I tried to unwrap these things. It's really crazy. Like, it was kind of sad. Um, like, I lost half of the pencil when I pulled up the string and tried to unwrap it. It was really bad. So I don't know how the heck you unwrap these. I'll have to look at a video. A China marker is what they're called, but yeah. So you're going to take it and we're just going to outline and apply a lot of pressure actually. If you don't have this, then um, just use a regular black pencil. That would work too. But I just want to create some shapes or you can use a paint, um, a paint marker. But these are only like a few bucks at the craft store, so, so you can kind of save up and get one of those. That's what I did. I also have a wet and sketch pen, which I really like too, so um, yeah. Just save up. That's what I do when I have an extra couple dollars, then I buy supplies that I can afford so that's what I do okay I'm gonna do the same thing down here so basically we're just kind of outlining some of our shapes here just applying a lot of pressure on this just to make sure that it stays out okay all I'm doing okay I'll have to figure out how this works. Okay, so I see how we're adding just some dimension to it already. So I'm trying to get you in frame. And then this is just a, paint, a cheap paint pen that I got at Michael's. Super duper cheap. It was a few dollars, okay? And you can get the paint pens at Michael's, I mean at, um, 
the place, oh my gosh, at Walmart. How could I forget the name of Walmart? And we're just going to take it and we're going to just add a little bit. But this is a great way, like if you're not, if you can't draw like me, you can definitely draw shapes. <laughs> Just kind of have to shake it up a little bit. I do want to try the um, Elmer's paint pens too. I don't know if those are like smoother because sometimes these get stuck. And actually, I think that I grabbed the wrong one. I have kind of a bad one that doesn't work that well, so I'm going to grab my other one. Yeah. I think this is the money one. Oh, does it have any more paint in it? Might be out of paint. Okay, nope, there we go. We just needed to get it going there. I think, although it's not really going. Oh, there we go. And I just want to add just some white lines. I don't think either one of these is working so well right now. But sometimes your supplies doesn't work. So you just kind of go through, use it the best way you can. Let's go back to the other one. I think it worked better. And I'm impatient. Sometimes I don't wait for them to get going that well, that long. I'm like, I want it to work right now. And I mean, you don't even have to be a good tracer like I am so terrible at tracing. But look at how pretty that is. I just love this, this style. I'm going to just add, and I love all the colors. And these are all ready to go after I get done doodling on them. I mean, they're... They're good to go. Sorry, I'm a little quiet today. I'm not really talking. I'm just so sad about that show. I just have to pray for that little boy that he can be with people that love him. Lord. But it's good to create and be with you guys. And it makes me grateful for my mom. She was pretty awesome. Like, she was always... She always put her kids first, you know, which is a beautiful thing, which I know lots of people don't experience that. So she's pretty darn awesome. It makes me appreciate her. So look at how pretty those are. Look at our pretty, pretty, pretty little postcards. How cool. And if you wanted to, you could add more markings. Um, but 
I kind of like these the way that they are. I think maybe what I will do is I'll add, I, yeah, I'll get out my black acrylic paint over here. Let's see, I'm just reaching around my, or even, I think I stuffed it in there. I wonder how white flicks would work. Mm, I think that I would prefer black. But let me go get my black paint. So I just have some black acrylic paint and I'm just going to add some flickers. So I'm just putting down just a little bit of black paint. I'm going to add a ton of water to it and I'm just going to take my bristles and I'm just going to add just some flicks of color. But I think just think that it help, will help bring everything together. Okay, just like that. Alrighty. So that's what our postcard looks like. Let me dry them off so you can get the full effect. out. Look how pretty those are. So those are absolutely gorgeous and it's just we made a postcard in 30 minutes or two postcards actually in 30 minutes and then all you have to do is since I'm running so long anyway I might as well show you how, how I'm going to treat the back so I'm just going to take my scissors let me bring it out a little bit so you can see a little bit better here. Okay Go ahead and finish her up, huh? <laughs> what the heck? Okay. So I have my jelly print here. And I'm just going to grab just a little bit of my homemade gesso. And I just added a little bit of water to it. I want it rather thin. And as I said, if you don't have gesso, just use watered down white paint. You just want to kind of wash that background out a little bit so you can write on it. So it won't be as strong, you know, as the other stuff. And you know what? There is one more thing that I want to do with the back. But let me finish this part out first that I forgot that I wanted to do. So we're not quite done yet, <laughs> but it's something quick. Okay. Just take that. Dump that in my brush and I'm just going to dry this off.
Okay. And then, so you see it's kind of washed out a little bit. So I can just make a line just right in the middle. Okay. And you could make a swiggle line. And then I could just write my address, put my stamp there. And then that's who it's going to. And then I could write a note over here. Okay. But I want to add just a little bit something else to this. So I'm just going to take this and I have my black Sharpie here. A piece of paper actually. Okay, and I'm just going to go around the edge, which is never easy for me, <laughs> but hopefully I can. I just think that that will bring it together even more. And I love making postcards, they're so fun and easy. And you guys saw that I made the ones with the. Um, with the um, paper, text, and, um, and the napkin. Sorry, I'm having a brain fart, as usual. You guys are used to it. <laughs> Just take it and go here. All right. Okay. And that brings it together even more, doesn't it? So this is just a quick and easy way um, for you to make easy postcards. Now I am going to have more postcard videos, but for those I'll probably speed them up a little bit more. Um, but I just kind of wanted to, to walk you through the process um, just so that you could kind of see step by step what I did with um, just minimal supplies. I did use a china marker, which is different, and a paint pen. But if you don't have a paint pen, just grab a small brush like this, a small paint brush with white acrylic paint, and you can get the exact same effect. Mm. Yeah, and then just grab, if you don't have a china marker, you could absolutely just use a regular pencil and that would work too. Or use your sharper just to outline, um, yeah, so your circle. So this is definitely something that you can do um, without all the supplies that I use, but I use minimally supplies. I mean, a paint pen, you can get these for $2 at Michael's and then, or at, um, or you can get the painters, which are supposed to be better than the craft smarts, um, at Walmart for $2. And then this China marker was only, um, I used a 50% off coupon and, um, it was only, I think it was, it ended up being like a dollar fifty. So you could absolutely go get one of those. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you just a quick, easy um, postcard that you could make maybe for a postcard swap or whatever you want. But I'm going to show you tons of postcards. I love making postcards. They're so much fun. So, And they're super easy. And, I mean, we just used junk. We used cereal boxes that we had around the house. We used homemade gesso, but you could absolutely use white acrylic paint, and that would work great, too. And just minimally, just little bits of, of paint and um, stamps handmade stamps that I made myself. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know and I will see you guys next time. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.